what's being done to humanity. We're being poisoned. We're being poisoned from the skies with chemtrails. We're being poisoned by all the crap that goes into food, and particularly GM foods. But even if you avoid those, all the sugar and all the crap, aspartame in children's drinks, you know. Poisoned with fluoride in the water supply in certain areas and in toothpaste and mouthwash and stuff. We're being poisoned by garbage TV and we're being poisoned through music. And they've got the younger generation in their crosshairs when it comes to the corporate music scene. So they're churning out all this vacuous, spirit-crushing, soul-destroying garbage. And if you're 18, 20 years of age, all you've known is this current glut of so-called artists that they're foisting on you. And so all you've known is, uh, you know, texting and smartphones and Instagram and Snapchats and LOL and LMFAO and taking selfies. And that is your world. All this stuff has crept up on human society over the last few years, and it's changed beyond recognition. So it's all part of this agenda to poison the minds and poison the spirituality. That's what it's all about. It's about cutting us off from our true nature, keeping us absolutely rooted in 3D based consciousness, this real world physicality, this reality, not giving people, particularly young people, any reason to explore their true nature and to understand that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. They don't want people doing that because if people go down that route, they might just discover how powerful we are particularly when we come together in our mass numbers. We might just discover a better version of reality that is just and is fair, an end to all the madness and the suffering and the war and the mayhem and carnage that's going on in this world. An end to all of that is possible, and it's possible tomorrow, if enough of us get on board with it, because that's the way in which these dark controllers have been able to gain so much power, because they understand how the universe works. They understand how reality works. They bring together their collective will and their intent, and they focus on this dark, evil world that they want to exist. And guess what? They've got it, because they're all on the same page together. And that's how human consciousness works. And they don't want us to realize that, because then we might just be able to throw them out and have a a better tomorrow. You know? So all this stuff is designed to just keep us away from that amazing revelation because that's where the solutions to all these problems lie you'll find so many researchers and authors and scholars in this area will tell you that it's the only way i see there being any solution to the problems that we currently all face and we we all face them so you know it doesn't matter if you don't choose to acknowledge that human enslavement is going on total mental spiritual and physical enslavement of humanity it doesn't matter if you can't see it doesn't matter if you've got quite a nice comfortable life and it doesn't affect you and it's somebody else's problem well actually it's not because it affects all of humanity and particularly those of us that have kids that are going to inherit all these problems and how much worse are things going to be in 20 or 30 years unless they're stopped in their tracks the only way out of it is through consciousness that's the way i see it and that's the way pretty much every researcher in this field sees it because you can't dismantle the control system brick by brick you just can't do it because it's too deeply entrenched you can't undo the corrupt political system and kick all these ministers out and tear down the buildings and and start again and elect new ministers and do it that way you know you can't get rid of the pharmaceutical industry by rounding up all these ceos of the, the pharmaceutical corporations and sticking them in jail and getting all the vaccines and getting all the medication and burning it and starting those all over again the solution lies in consciousness and when you raise your consciousness you start to intuit knowledge from the universe you access your higher self and solutions come to you the world can seem very bewildering when you're looking at it from the very limited perspective of a human mind steeped in 3d reality but when you raise your consciousness the answers come to you and when large numbers of people around the world are all getting on the same vibrational frequency and they're pooling their consciousness and they're all accessing that higher aspect of themselves the answers will come the solutions will come you'll know what to do there'll be cooperation and that's the way the universe works it really does manifest situations physically according to the will that's been applied to it i mean alistair crowley the dark occultist who is so beloved and revered by the entertainment industry 
it's another question. Why have so many musicians through the decades been infatuated with the works of Aleister Crowley? What's that all about? But one of his central teachings through the Book of Magic was where he says magic, with a K, is the art of causing change in accordance with will. So you apply your will to a situation and you can actually make it happen. If you know what you're doing and if you focus your attention and your consciousness on it enough. He understood that. These dark occultists that are controlling things understand that as well. Now it's down to the rest of us to understand it. So I feel it's happening slowly, nowhere near as fast as I'm sure we'd all like it. But slowly people are waking up and coming to this realization and it's happening on an each one teach one kind of basis. So what brought me to all these understandings was looking at the work of people like David Icke. And David Icke would have consolidated the works of uh, many other researchers and authors to come to the understandings that he has. And the stuff that he puts in his books have been collated from an eclectic array of sources. So, you know, he did that. And then I read his books and that influenced me. Then I went off down the path of doing my podcasts and eventually doing my public talks. Now I have people coming to me by email and Facebook message and stuff saying uh, your talk inspired me so much or I've got your book and now I understand all these things thank you so much for bringing it to my attention now I'm talking to my wife about it or I'm talking to my brother about it or I'm talking to the guys at work about it and so that will happen and then you know the brother or the wife or the guys at work when they come to an understanding of it will talk to people that they know and so it will spread throughout like that that's what needs to continue happening at a much higher rate but it is happening we can get frustrated that it's not happening as quickly as we want it to but i think it's now at such a momentum that it can't be stopped we're going to see the control system chucking everything they've got at us in the next few years in an attempt to dumb people down further and uh, suppress our consciousness and you know suppress us physically and try and cull vast swathes of the population but it can't be stopped the game is on.